there are several bills moving forward that put parameters on what can be taught or even discussed when it comes to gender identity and sexual orientation. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Zach Fisher joins us from the State House with more on this. Zach. Yeah, Aaron and Janae, as you mentioned, there's been several bills going through the state house this session on LGBTQ plus education today in a House subcommittee meeting. A specific bill, House File 9, looks at the education of gender identity and sexual orientation in grades specifically kindergarten through third. So the subcommittee allows members of the public to come out and speak on the bill, including members of the LGBT plus community uh, saying that uh, this hurts kids, not helps them. I have seen the positive impact teaching kids at a young age about queer experience and identities can have, how when given the chance to learn more about themselves, they are able to find connection with others, but most importantly, learn to love and find acceptance with who they are, something I did not receive growing up. Most Republicans agree that uh, the conversations need to be between parents and the students and school districts shouldn't have any types of involvement in this. Where they disagree on though is what grades it should be restricted in. So the House version is kindergarten through third. The Senate has a version of kindergarten through eighth. So we're gonna have to work that out, but plenty of people speaking out in favor of this bill today. I would like to ask you that you please consider a revision to grades four through 12, as these are very impressionable years. 90% of the children I speak with who talk about changing their gender or even transitioning are confused. When I asked them why they felt the need to take the step they usually replied with, I don't know, it's what others are doing. Thanks. Governor Reynolds introduced a bill, a uh, sweeping education bill last week, including this bill in it, uh, in a culmination with others. She wants kindergarten through third grade, so we're gonna have to see what has worked out, but there's a lot of Republicans in both the House, the Senate, and obviously Reynolds getting involved here in this conversation. So. It's looking likely you could see debate on the chamber floors here once uh, that age restriction is figured out, Aaron. All right, we know you'll continue to follow it for us. Thanks, Zach. And students from across the state will have a chance to meet with state legislators tomorrow. Iowa Safe Schools is organizing Student Day at the Capitol. Tomorrow's Day at the Capitol will let LGBTQ students and allies talk about their issues and concerns with state lawmakers. Iowa Safe Schools believes the event is especially important this year because of the bills focused on gender identity that are up for debate. Student Day at the Capitol begins at 8 o'clock.